Hey guys, if you guys have a Samsung fridge, like this one here, I'll post a model number in the description. But if it's making this annoying noise, I'm about to show y'all how to eliminate it. Okay, so I took out the ice tray here and I unplugged the fridge so there's no power to it. See, what happens is in here, these little vents they get built up with ice. There's a couple more down below. One right there. And one right there. As you can see, they're all iced up. And I believe right behind this, there's a motor that spins. Okay? So you have one of two options. You could either unplug your fridge overnight and let it all dethaw. It should be okay. But that means your food's going to spoil unless you have another freezer, another refrigerator can transport everything too. Now what I'm going to do is expedite the, the dethawing process by taking a fan and um, blowing into these holes and um, you know it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes but within that time m my food my fridge is not going to spoil. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this right now. So what I'm doing is I'm going to hold this uh, this dryer, hair dryer, onto each vent. And I'm going to be careful as to not holding it too close or too hot so this, the plastic doesn't melt. But you'll, you'll kind of see how hot it gets yourself if you can touch the plastic and see if it gets too hot. But the objective is to melt all this ice with this fan here. So I'm going to hit this one and the four, the four of them right now. If you hold the fan right into here, that's what distributes all the all the circulation or the cooling. I believe that's going to get all the hot air and melt a lot of the ice right in here. As you can see, when you blow up on those upper vents, the water kind of drains out right here. So I put a towel right here to soak up a lot of the, the water that's, uh, or the ice that's melted, that drips down. And also over here, I put another uh, towel there. And I'm wearing uh, insulated shoes so I won't get electrocuted. So be very careful with this. Make sure that none of your cordage gets wet. You know. You don't want to get zapped here. All right, guys. So I melt. I pointed at this this vent here, and then two side vents, up, upper vents here, and then on this on this floor you got two right here, and this is I guess where it drips from. You can actually point the the fan right here. So I I, I blew out it with some warm to hot air, probably 15 to 20 minutes. It looks like it's all melted, and I I really actually took out two wet towels like this full of um, wet water so that was all ice that was built up into that fan that was basically making that humming noise so essentially what this will do here is rectify the noise but it's only temporary I had to do this about six months ago so once every six months to a year you're gonna have to redo this because I guess the way they made that fan is too close to all the I the the cooling system and it gets all iced up so Thanks for watching my video. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if this helped you guys out.